Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and today's video is another episode of our series called Wix Studio Simplified, a series where I help simplify Wix Studio. Now in today's episode, we're primarily gonna be focusing on cells. Let's go ahead and get started. Now cells is basically an easier way to create grid layouts here in Wix Studio. So here I have a blank section and right here we have several different options to create cell layouts. For example, if we choose this three cell collage, we'll immediately be able to see the section gets split up into three different cells. But if we go ahead and grab the section and come down to the layout in the design tab, we'll have several different options. First one being grid gap. So maybe we want there to be like a 48 pixel gap in between the rows and columns. So we have a 48 pixel gap right here. And just for fun, let's go ahead and kind of design a couple of these very basic. Um, but maybe for this one, we want it to be gray with rounded edge corners. So here we'll do 48. Let's go ahead and do the same thing down here. Maybe we'll choose this light orange color and of course give it the same rounded edge. And then over here on the left hand side, maybe we can just simply add an image, stretch it. And of course we'll add 48 rounded edge to the corners as well. So now we have a very basic section here. However, let's say we want the orange to be on top of the gray. So what we can do is select this cell right here, shift and click the top one as well. And now we'll have an option to swap them. And just by doing that simple trick, we now have kind of the pinkish orange on top and we have the gray one on the bottom. Now I kind of want this section to be a little bit taller. So I'm going to grab this section, make it a bit taller, but maybe I want this gray one to be very short. So hovering over the middle, we'll see this line right here and we can easily drag this down, make the gray one smaller and it makes this pinkish orange even bigger. Now, if we choose to swap these now, it's gonna keep the restraints that we previously set. It's just going to change the content inside of it. So if this one had a paragraph and we swapped it, then the paragraph would be down here and the gray color for the cell that we changed would be down here as well. Now, let's say we want to add space to the left and right. All we have to do is select the section itself, come down to docking and margins, and maybe we can add like 5% on the right and left. Now, all we would really need to do is basically maybe add some icons and text and images and a button over here. And we have ourselves a very clean, modern looking section in just a couple minutes. But let's go ahead and add a brand new section and kind of start from scratch again. Maybe for this one, we just want to keep it simple. We just want to have two columns just like this. Once again, let's go ahead and add like a 150 pixel gap in the middle because maybe we want an image over here and some text on the left hand side. And we'll also go ahead and add maybe 5% margin on the left and right. And actually for this gap, maybe I don't want to do quite that extreme. So we'll just set this to five VW, which in this case would basically mean 5%, same as our padding that we applied to the section. And just so we have consistent spacing across our website, maybe we can add 5% on all sides of the section. So now we have a section that looks just like this. We'll go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. And in this right hand side, let's go ahead and add an image. Let's stretch it. Let's round the corners. Maybe we'll choose 24. And let's just change the image out real quick. Perfect. Now in the left hand side, let's go ahead and add a title. Let's also add a paragraph. And last but not least, let's go ahead and add a button. Now all I really want to do is grab all three of these items. We'll stack them together. We'll align all the items to the left. For the spacing, let's go ahead and set this to like 2.5, something like that. Let's send the stack to the center and to the left and we'll just drag it out just like this. Perfect. And we can just adjust the button a little bit here as well. And if we center the stack just a little bit, here is our section and we built it in just like 30 seconds. It's a little basic, but this is all just to show how easy it is to build sections using cells inside of Wix Studio. Again, we can further adjust the website design just by kind of adjusting the width of each of these cell items. And if we grab this cell and this cell, 
it's easy just to swap them around very simply right here inside of the editor. So using this method, if we wanted to create a very basic website and we wanted to create a couple of different layouts, what we could do is just copy this section. We can paste it. We can grab both cells and swap them. Maybe change out the content here. And now we have two sections basically built exactly the same way, just kind of flip flopped and it looks very clean and it didn't take hardly any time at all. Now for mobile, these don't get any more complicated. Um, all you have to do is let's say grab the section. And right now we have the layout set to columns. So let's just go ahead and switch these over to rows. And now we have this design right here. Of course, it's not that hard to edit. We can easily edit the design just like this. And if we resize this section here, you can see that all the grids are, everything is kind of changing here, um, but we can easily just kind of push this down to make the image a little bit bigger and the text to appear right there. Of course, we are gonna wanna edit the size. Um, maybe this text, we want it to be 24, not 13. We're gonna want paragraphs to be around 13. And then for this button right here, we'll make the text 13 pixels, just like that. And now we have a very simple section built for desktop, tablet, and mobile, just like that. And just like how I was showing you before, we could easily grab the cells and swap them. Um, and this will not change it for tablet or mobile. So we can further customize the design on mobile if we wanted to have them in a different layout here. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's quick little video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.